What is going on my friends? Today I have got a back body strength and hit cardio workout for you. All you need are a couple dumbbells. I'm gonna be using my 15 pounders throughout, but use what you've got. I've kind of uh, programmed this workout around using the same weight the whole time, but if you've got multiple weights, go ahead and grab them, bring them out, bring them all out, guys. All right, we've got 10 circuits to go through. Each circuit has two exercises. We'll do exercise A, which is a strength-based move, and then exercise B, which is more of a cardio move. So it goes A, B, B, A, and then we move to the next circuit. So um, 45 seconds, 20 seconds, 20 seconds, 45 seconds, move on. As a reminder, guys, I do not put music into my workout videos. That way you can hear me, you can hear my coaching, you can turn me all the way up, and you can turn your own music all the way up without having to deal with some royalty-free background noise, right? We got this. Get some water, get your dumbbells, get an exercise mat, because we are going to be up and down on the ground, and let's do this. All right, guys, go ahead and start by rolling those shoulders back and down. Big, dramatic shoulder rolls. The reason I chose this workout, back body strengthening today, was because I have a ton of energy, but my quads and my abs and my chest are so sore, and I'm like, I need to do a workout, but uh, okay, so let's just work the back of the body. Go ahead, roll those shoulders forward. I've also had a lot of coffee, and I'm feeling like kicking my own butt today, so this is where we're at. Rolling forward, guys. Keep rolling forward. This time I'm gonna roll forward, roll down, walk all the way out to plank. Here we go, roll it down. Walk all the way out to plank. Hold it there for just a sec. And then roll it all the way back up. Hello, all the shoulder pops. Roll it up, roll the shoulders back and down. Again, roll it forward. Walk it out. This time I'm gonna bring one foot to the outside of my hands here. So you're in like a long lunge here. Hold it for just a second, and when you feel ready, you'll rotate. Ow, my abs are sore, like I said. Bring it back in, bring that foot back to plank, and walk it back up. Good, roll the shoulders back and down. Again, rolling down, same thing on the other side. Roll it down, take your time, walk it out. Opposite leg, hang here for just a sec and then open when you're ready. Oh my gosh, my abs are so sore. And bring it back in, and then walk it back up. Beautiful. We're gonna roll it down one more time. You can either stay in the plank, or you can drop the hips down for like an upward dog, or a cobra, wherever you're at today. And then roll it back up. My gosh, my shoulder pops like every time. Roll it all the way up. Good. Spread those legs wide. Rock it side to side. So you're probably wondering why my abs are so sore. And it's the answer is kickboxing. I was boxing. I was kicking. And I haven't kicked a bag in a month because I was filming TK Knockout. And this is my first time kicking the bag in like a month. And oh my gosh. I am not used to that impact. Straighten those legs out, guys. And we're gonna just walk from one toe to the other. So if you want your abs to be as sore as mine, you're gonna have to jump on board one of those knockout workouts. Good. Just stretching out the back of the legs here, getting the low back loose. Make sure those abs are pulled in. Don't just let them hang there, stay engaged. One more. Good, meet me in center. And then heel toe, heel toe yourself together and then you can kind of roll it up here. We're gonna stretch those hip flexors. If you've got extra tight hip flexors, you can do this for uh, longer than three seconds. Everybody else, don't fall. Push those hips forward, stretching that hip flexor, the leg that's back and behind. If you want, you can bring those arms up overhead, push the hips forward, hold it for three, two, one, and switch legs. Stepping back, push the hips forward, three, two, one, switch again. Again, if you're tight, just hold it there. Three, two, one. 
switch again three two one one more time on each side want to make sure we're nice and loose three two one uno mas switch push the hips forward three two one good bring it forward we're just gonna jog here jogging in place you can kind of shuffle those feet side to side you can pick it up a little faster in fact let's all pick it up let's bring those knees up we're running high knees now bring the arms into it good switch jumping jacks make sure you're breathing core is pulled in nice and tight keep going guys good let's open and close other side open and close open close open close one more on each side open close open close hinge with me so i'm going to come down arms straight out in front hinging down fly squeeze those shoulder blades together and come back up good down squeeze got a lot of work today so i'm trying to make sure everything is warm squeeze the shoulder blades together back stays flat stick your booty out slight bend in the knee awesome guys let's squat first squat of the day push and then just squeeze the shoulder blades together squat squeeze squat squeeze tuck that pelvis squeeze the glutes at the top here don't thrust the hips forward but tuck and squeeze good push squeeze a few more last two last one here squeeze all right roll the shoulders back and down we are ready to work out all right guys our first circuit we've got a b stance romanian deadlift i'm going to grab both of my dumbbells for this and then what i'm going to do is pick a leg i'm going to work my left first so my right leg is going to be back here it's my fancy little kickstand and then all i'm going to do is slide those weights down the front of this leg here and then i'm going to use my glutes and my hamstrings to pull the weights up back stays flat we go in 10 seconds so bring those shoulder blades into your back pockets you're going to stick your booty out to the back of the room in three here we go slide down squeeze the glutes to come up remember which leg you're doing i'm doing my left squeeze to come up i want you to think about pressing through the floor with that entire foot that's on the ground squeeze the glutes to come up come all the way to stand up tall that'll take any tension out of your low back again the back stays flat 15 more seconds here and we're gonna start jumping squeeze we got glutes and hamstrings on fire already five seconds three good set your dumbbells aside when you're not going to jump on them i'm gonna jump forward as far as i can i'm gonna run back jump forward run back we go in three here we go big jump forward run back again forward run back if this hurts your knees you're just gonna run forward and run back right so just do the best version you can handle and every day is a little different three rest we're doing that again whichever version you're doing fine with me we go in three here we go jumping forward running back land soft absorb that jump almost done guys two yes 
legs. All right, grab the dumbbells. RDL, other side. We go in five. Right leg. Here we go. Hinge down. Squeeze up. We got this. Control your breathing here. You got about 30 seconds left. Think inhale on the way down. Exhale to come up. Pressing through that heel, mostly, but I still want you gripping the floor with the entire foot. Back is as flat as can be. You're sticking your booty out to the back of the room. 10 seconds. Eight. Keep going, guys. Stay focused. Two. Rest, we are moving on. Go ahead and grab one dumbbell for this next one. We're gonna do a bird dog row. I'm gonna start by rowing my left arm. So we're gonna come down, opposite hand is on the ground, opposite leg that the dumbbell is in is up in the sky, in the sky, T pointing toward the back of the room, in the sky. We're gonna row that arm, rowing to the hip. All right, extend that leg in five, Squeeze the glute, pull the belly button in. Here we go. Rowing to the hip. Inhale on the way down. Exhale to lift it up. Shoulder blade is in your back pocket. Try not to rest the dumbbell down on the ground for too long. Double check that your hips aren't opening up here, right? So point those toes to the back of the room, even to the opposite corner of the room that'll keep those hips from opening up 15 seconds guys and then we're gonna do some cardio how's that booty cheek on that leg that is holding up there a little bit of everything five two and rest set the dumbbell aside so we're not gonna hop on it we're gonna do a knee drive and then jump into a lunge. Same side, over and over. Knee drive, pop into that lunge. We go in three, here we go. Right here, drop, drive, drop, drive, drop. We got this, you're staying on one side. The next round we're gonna do on the other leg. Five, if you need to take out the impact, you're simply here. Right? Rest. Other side. Drive. Drop. We go in five. Two. Here we go. Control your breathing here. Just about halfway. Abs are pulled in. Almost done. Rest. Bird dog row. Other side. Lift the opposite leg. In three. Here we go. Row it up to the hip. Remember to control your breathing. Don't lift that back leg too high, but also don't let it rest on the ground. Keep the glute engaged. Abs pulled in. Don't let the shoulder blades wing, so push away from the floor. 20 seconds, guys. How's it going? Good, Caitlin, we're so happy. 15 seconds. 10, oh my gosh. Almost done, five. Rest, new circuit. Gonna need both your dumbbells for this next one. Actually, you could use one if you wanna go lighter. I'm gonna use two. What we're gonna do is turn the toes slightly outward for a sumo squat, weighted there, and then I'm gonna turn the toes forward for a sumo hip hinge or deadlift. Turn them out, squat, deadlift. We got this, we go in eight seconds. Grab your dumbbells. We go in three, turn the toes out. 
Here we go. Squat down, turn the toes forward, hinge. Turn the toes out, sumo squat. In, deadlift, we got this. Woo, don't fall. I almost fell. <laughs> 30 seconds, guys. Back stays flat during both movements here. Only thing changing is the hinge and the angle of the feet. 15 seconds. Squeeze. Your glutes should be firing up. Talking to you by now. Five. Yes, three. Rest, dumbbells come out of the way. I'm gonna reach both hands up, pretend there's something on top of the counter or in a cupboard that I wanna get and I'm gonna jump up as high as I can to reach it. Here we go. Try to get as high as you can. Pretend you are two years old and there's a jar of cookies on the counter and you want them. Three. Rest. One more time. Breathe, guys. We go in three. Here we go. Focus on pulling the abs in. Focus on jumping high. Ten seconds. Oh my gosh, two. Grab the dumbbells. We're going to sumo squat, deadlift. Toes are out. Here we go. Squat down. Woo! Hinge. Down and hinge. We got this. During that hinge, back is flat and you shoot your hips, your butt to the back of the room. 20 seconds left. Abs are pulled in and engaged. 15, focus on using your glutes. 10, holy moly. Five, two, rest guys. New circuit. We're coming all the way down. I'm gonna use one dumbbell. If you've got two lighter dumbbells, you can use them here. What I'm gonna do is push up into a single leg bridge. If you can't hold that single leg bridge, you can always modify with two feet. From there, I'm going to hinge at the elbow and do a skull crusher, working those triceps. All right, guys, shoot that opposite leg up into the air. And in five, we'll press up into that bridge. Here we go, up, and then bend at the elbow, extend. So I'm letting my dumbbell kind of come tap my skull here, not necessarily crushing it. Now, if you're using two dumbbells, you're gonna let either dumbbell slide right next to your ears. The movement here is a hinge at the elbow, not the shoulder. We will do at the shoulder later. That will work our lats. Oh my goodness, how's it going, guys? We got one booty cheek on fire. I can't see the timer. 10 seconds, yes I can. <sighs> Extend, back of the arms on freaking fire, right? Tuck that pelvis, woo, <laughs> rest. We're coming up. We're gonna do a twist, jump, twist, jump, and then drop into a squat. We go in five. Try not to get lightheaded here. Two, here we go. So you're down, we're gonna twist, twist, back down. Twist, twist, back down. We got it, twist, twist. Back down, 10 seconds, five, two, good, rest, we're doing that again. Notice I had a little pause 
little hop in the center before I went to the other side. Here we go, squat, twist, twist, down. 15. 10 seconds. Get low in that squat if you can. Three. And rest. Coming back down. I'm gonna now plant my right leg. And crush the skull, here we go. Hinge at the elbow, extend. Remember if you need to, you can modify by going onto both feet or even just by leaving one leg down a little just to give you a little more stability. Using this time to control your breathing. Talking to myself here. It's hard to work out, talk, Breathe, engage your core, woo, all at the same time. But I got this. Keep going, my friends. I can't see the timer. If I turn my head, I'm gonna fall. Yes, rest. Thank goodness. New circuit. We're gonna come all the way up for this next one. And I'm gonna just use one dumbbell. I'm gonna work my left leg first. All I'm gonna do, put that dumbbell in the opposite hand of the leg that's working. I will drop down into a split squat, you see it here. And then I will come up, lift the leg. Again, split squat, back up, lift the leg. We go in eight seconds, guys. So split the stance, pickle jar under that front foot, right? Rotate, here we go, drop down, up, down, lift, good, down up, down, and lift. So if you've never worked out with me before and you're like, what are you talking about with the pickle jar? Well, I want you to pretend there's a pickle jar under that front foot and it's stuck. You cannot open it. So you're gonna try by pushing down through that foot and trying to rotate it open. If it's your left foot, then you're gonna actually be trying to close the pickle jar. Let's not get too technical there. and. It doesn't have to be pickles. Woo, it can be spaghetti sauce. My glutes on fire, guys. Three. <laughs> yes. All right, we're gonna just go for a switch jump while we raise the, raise the roof. All right, we're just gonna switch the feet quickly. Press the arms overhead in three. Here we go. Moving quickly. If you wanna use a dumbbell here, press it overhead, go for it. Abs pulled in, quick feet. Five, three, rest. Let's do it again. Surprised that I haven't lost my hair yet. It's being cooperative. Here we go, same thing. Quick feet. And then we'll go back to that lunge on the opposite side. Five, three, ah, rest. Dumbbell goes in the opposite hand. I'm gonna face this way this time. We split the stance, drop it down. Up, down, lift, good. Pickle jar under that foot, grip, and try to rotate without actually rotating. That's gonna get that knee to fall in line with the hip and the ankle. And it's gonna get your glute to fire. Strong feet, guys. Start at the bottom. How we doing? You got 10 seconds left, and then we're gonna take a sip of water and breathe. Five, whoop. Yes. Okay, we are officially halfway through. It's a good time 
get a sip of water. We're gonna take a little extra time here. I'm dripping water everywhere. All right. Our next exercise is a bent over row combo. We're gonna combine a narrow row where we row to the hip, right? To the hip, and then we're gonna rotate the palms to face the back of the room, and then we're gonna row wide, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Again, here and here. My weights are pretty heavy for this, so I'm a little scared. They're fine for that narrow row, but a wide row, that could get heavy. All right, guys, we go in five seconds. Hinge at the hips, stick your booty out. Here we go. Squeeze, and then wide, yes. Squeeze, wide. Pressing through those feet, press through the heel, and get the glute to do the work not your lower back, and then your upper back, back of the shoulders are doing the weight lifting. Pull the abs in, brace your core, and don't forget to breathe. 15 seconds. Double check your form. Is your back flat? Your glutes squeezing? Five more seconds. Two. Oof. All right, dumbbells come out of the way. We're gonna do a shuffle touchdown variation where I'm gonna kind of shuffle to one side, come into like almost a lunge here, and then switch, switch, switch. We go in three. Don't slip on your water or sweat. So I'm going up and over, some kind of imaginary object here. 10. Touch the ground if you can. If not, just reaching down is fine with me. Three, two, doing it again. Breathing here, five. Here we go, reaching down. Keep going guys, 10 seconds. I know your legs are probably jello like mine. Three. Rest. Dumbbells. We row. Here we go. Narrow. Wide. Narrow. Wide. Shoulder blades in your back pocket, and then squeeze them together. 25 seconds. Double check the back. Make sure it's flat. Make sure you're really grounding through that entire foot, pressing through the heels, 10. I am a sweaty mess. Five, three, rest. Oh my gosh, we're moving on. I'm gonna take one dumbbell all the way down to the ground with me. We're gonna do a single leg bridge. I'm gonna work my left leg first. I'm gonna take one dumbbell, put it on my hip. The other leg will be in the air and we will simply press the hips up and down. When you're doing that bridge, try to think less about pushing your hips as high as you can to the ceiling, but rather up and then tucking that pelvis, pubic bone pulls to your nose. We go in five seconds, guys. I want you to feel this in your glute, not your back. Here we go. Up and down. If you need a slightly easier version of this, you can bring that foot on top um, of that opposite leg. Ideally, we're here, you can always Bring that dumbbell, kind of prop it on your hip. I think I like this better. But now that I see the time, I'm a little worried about my glute. You've got 20 seconds left, guys. Get it up, tuck it in. Squeeze the bum. 
almost done 10 seconds and then we got some cardio we're gonna have to come up nice and slow for but lucky for you two it's only a little bit of jump rope set that dumbbell aside come up nice and slow so you don't get lightheaded all right we feel good we're gonna jump rope imaginary i'm going to go for more of a high knee jump rope here we go I kind of like it better. You can do any which kind of jump rope, any which kind. You can do any <laughs> sort of jump rope that you like. 10 seconds, as long as you're moving fast, as long as you're moving. Five, I'm happy. Three. Rest. Let's do it again. In five, three, two, here we go. the fastest imaginary jump rope you've ever done. 10, pull the abs in. Five, three, two, one. Down, right leg, single leg bridge. Get ready, we go in three, we got this. Did anybody else just kind of collapse to the floor there? I fully did. I was just like plunk and getting tired and sweaty. And I have sweat art all over the floor here. Again, guys, making sure you're not arching that back so you've got that pelvis tucked. That way it's in your glutes, your hamstrings, not your back. Abs are engaged. How's it going? You got 15 seconds. My stronger glute, apparently. Eight seconds. Stay with me. Even if your hips aren't even lifting off the ground anymore. Two. Ah. Oh. Moving on. Don't even bother standing up. Unless, of course, you need to reach your other dumbbell. I'm gonna use two dumbbells. I'm gonna do a pullover. So we're gonna come back up into a bridge two feet on the ground. And remember what we did the skull crusher where we hinged at the elbow and I said not from the shoulder. Now we're going from the shoulder. We're gonna be using our lats. We go in 10 seconds. So get ready. Let's come up into that bridge a little early, extra creds. Press the dumbbells up. If you want to push them together for a little more stability, drop back and up. You're using your lats back and up. Same rules apply with that bridge here, right? Less about the hips going as high as possible, more about that pubic bone tucking in so you can really focus on your glutes. If you are struggling with two dumbbells, you can always opt for one. You would just hold it by the fat ends like we did in that first Tricep exercise, eight seconds left, guys. Stick with me. Two. Yes. All right, coming up nice and slow. We're gonna do a power skip. So get the dumbbells out of the way. Come up nice and slow so you don't get lightheaded. Pick a leg, I'm gonna put my left forward. Step back with the right. Power skip it up. Here we go, boom. Try to get up as high as you can drive through that front leg but use that back leg as some momentum five rest Woo! other leg i'm gonna face this way just stay even here we go big skip Try to catch some air. If you need this to be low impact, simply come up, oh my God, onto the toe. Five. Oh my gosh. Dumbbells, down. 
press them up. Here we go. Back and up. I am going to go one dumbbell because my lats are starting to give out on me. I'm having troubles here. Here we go. Using your lats, guys. Focus on that muscle. Squeeze those glutes. Pubic bone is tucked. Always just keep checking your form. Keep running through head to toe. And before you know it, ding! Right? Okay, we've got two circuits left. Stay down here with me, grab a dumbbell. I'm gonna do my left leg first. I'm gonna put that dumbbell back and behind the knee. And I will be on all fours. I'm gonna do a rear lift so that uh, the foot will kick up back and behind me. And then I will come out to the side for a hydrant. So get that dumbbell back in there. Don't forget what leg you're doing. I'm doing left. We go in five, three, two, here we go. Lift and then hydrant. Lift, hydrant. This is your last leg and glute exercise of this entire workout. So take comfort in that and give it all you've got. It's not your last circuit, but it's your last booty burn. So make it count, 20 seconds. Back, out to the sides. Don't let your head droop. Don't let the shoulder blades wing, push away from the floor. Oh my gosh, five, three, rest. All right, we're gonna come up nice and slow. We're just gonna hop it out, twisting those hips. Upper body and hips go in the opposite direction with each hop. Oh my God, I can't talk. Here we go. I'm getting delirious. Are you guys getting tired? I'm getting tired. We're almost done, stick with me. 10 seconds left here. Abs pulled in. Five, three, rest. Oh my gosh, one more time. It's like everything's hard now. <laughs> Doesn't even matter what it is. Just standing here is hard. Keep going, guys. 15, 10, we're almost done. Five, two, and calves, right? All right, dumbbell goes back and behind the right leg. Here we go. Up and then out to the side. Up, out to the side. Don't forget to breathe. Don't let the head fall down. Push away from the mat. Don't let the back arch every time you lift that leg. Stay in control. Let the abs brace your core. And let the glute do the work, not the back. 10 seconds, guys, oh my gosh. Five. Two. Rest, last circuit, and we're coming up. I'm gonna use one dumbbell, hold it by either the fat ends, or I can grip it like this. I'm gonna hold it like this, because my grip's starting to go. And then I'm just gonna bring it up overhead, squeeze those elbows so they're facing forward, tuck the pelvis, engage the abs, extend overhead, working those triceps. All right, guys, grab it. We go in eight seconds. This is our last circuit. We got this in three. Here we go. Pay attention. 
to what arm, I'm sorry, what hand is on top. So your next round, you can put the opposite hand on top if you're holding it like I'm holding it. Again, making sure you are not arching through the back. So your abs are engaged. Pelvis is tucked, not arched. Neutral. Oh my God, 15 seconds. 10. My triceps are like my weakest muscle. Three. Oh, and that was not fun. You can tell I put it at the end for a reason. All right, we're gonna do two high knees, two butt kicks. Two high knees, two butt kicks. Fast, abs pulled in. We go in three, two, here we go. One, two, one, two, one, two. Moving fast, guys. Ten seconds. Get those knees up nice and high because you get a little rest every time you kick them back. Rest. That wasn't so bad. Doing it again. It's your last round of cardio. Everything you've got in three. Here we go. I'm trying to lead with the opposite leg this time. Feel the abs working too. Eight. Five. All right, guys. Last 45 seconds of work. Triceps. Woo. Here we go. Extend and back down. Thirty five seconds left. Breathing here. Be thankful that this workout is almost over. And oh my gosh, my triceps are like about to fall off. 15 seconds, guys. Come on. Stay with me. 10. Five. Three. Oh. Wow. My triceps hate me right now. You guys, we are done. We did it. Get your dumbbells out of the way. Get a sip of water. I'm so glad that is over. <laughs> Triceps are my nemesis. All right, we're gonna stretch it out really quick. Let's start with our triceps, right? So bring one arm back and behind, and then try to reach down your back here. Breathing, relax into it. You guys should be proud of yourselves for making it through. Good, go ahead and switch sides. Oh, my triceps are gonna be sore tomorrow. Gonna be sore tomorrow. Breathe into it, guys. Relax with every exhale. I apologize for like breathing into my mic here. <laughs> Good, woo! Bring one arm across and we'll stretch the back of the shoulder. Breathe into it. Good, switching sides. Try not to smash my microphone here, we're good. We're gonna work our way into the legs in just a second. Good, let's just stay here, step it wide, and just uh, rock into one leg, stretching through that inner thigh. Breathe. I have one inner thigh that was really sore too from my kickboxing workout. Go ahead, switch sides. 
lean into it. You can maneuver yourself, find where you need it most, kind of roll around in it. Good, now fold yourself over, stretching through the back of the legs, even into that lower back. If you want to bring the lats into it, take one hand, grab the opposite foot and just push yourself down to the floor and you can stretch through that lat. This is a hard one to explain, but if you can figure it out, it feels amazing. Otherwise, you can just hang out here in that wide fold. Good switching sides, pressing through that lat. Grip that foot. I have knots in my lats and in my um, triceps had a massage therapist find it and she was like oh my gosh good guys from here I'm just gonna sit my bum down on the ground bring one foot up and over here sit up tall stretch through that glute of the leg that's folded up over top the glute the hip all of that good stuff try to sit up tall push your shoulders away from your ears breathing, feeling happy that it's over, right? Eat something, something that's going to help you feel good and recover well, some kind of carbohydrate and a protein. Good. Other uh, leg goes on top. This is my wonky tight side. <sighs> Relax into it. Breathe. Drink lots of water. You probably stink and need a shower. I'm just guessing because I stink and need a shower. And it is so warm in San Diego here today. It's like 80 degrees and it's beautiful, but it's hot in here. And with the heat comes the mosquitoes. If you were working out with me here on YouTube last year around this time, you know that mosquitoes are like, my worst enemy in here so be prepared to be entertained with me chasing mosquitoes in the new future good all right we're gonna stretch those hamstrings legs are straight sit up tall for just a second here try to uh lock those knees out flex those feet sitting up tall here just hold it there for a sec and then you can kind of round into it if you need to. You can bend the knees even if you need to. And you can kind of pedal, pedal. My hamstrings are the tightest ever. Grab those toes if you can. And then we'll roll all the way down. Stretch yourself, grow a few inches. And this is where I'm gonna leave you because I love you and I'm gonna let you take a nap. I'm gonna let myself take a little nap. All right, guys, make sure you like this video, hit subscribe, I love you, and I will see you next time.